The overall goal of this procedure is to allow a detailed analysis of the phosphorylation-dependent activation of the IRF3 transcription factor. So this method can help answer key questions regarding the interferon-mediated innate immune response, such as how pathogen activates or evades the IRF3-dependent interferon beta expression. The main advantage of this technique is that it constitutes an affordable and sensitive approach to distinguish the different RF3-activated forms that may arise following different stimulations. Though this method provides insight into virus infection of human cells, it can also be applied to mouse or human tissues subjected to other pathogens or pathogen-associated molecular patterns. Demonstrating the procedure will be Alexa Robitaille and Melissa Mariani, two cell signaling experts from my laboratory. The A549 cells used in this procedure are maintained in culture in a 15 centimeter plate at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide in complete F12K ham medium. 24 hours before infection, trypsinize the cells as described in the protocol text and transfer the cells to a 15 milliliter conical tube. Centrifuge at 350 times G for three minutes at room temperature. Remove the supernatant and resuspend the cell pellet in 8 milliliters of complete F12K ham medium to obtain a homogeneous single cell suspension. After counting the cells using a hemocytometer, seed the cells at a density of 1 times 10 to the 6 cells per 60 millimeter plate in 4 milliliters of preheated complete F12K ham medium. Incubate for 20 to 24 hours at 37 degrees.